Hey guys, so I was about to release a cover, but this rant was requested, and honestly, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm on me and Brombi's chat right now. I downloaded a screen recorder just for this, so yeah. And this rant is on the Fallout first thing. So as many of you may know, Fallout 76 didn't do that well, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, yeah, but that's not what this rant's about. This is about people getting bullied and everything just over having Fallout first. And people think they have to buy everything. So this is me and Brombi's chat right now. Brombi sent me all the links and all that I need for this whole thing. So, yeah. Let's check out this, this one. Fallout first players are being, being targeted. Yeah. So Fallout first... Continue. I don't want the Reddit app. Yeah, so Fallout First players are being targeted in Adventure Mode. People are ganging up on Fallout First players in Adventure Mode and grieving anyone with the icon. Like, what the hell? I mean, seriously, guys, I mean, just stop. I know you don't like Fallout 76 or Fallout First, but do you have to pick on anyone who has it? I mean, sir, sure, I mean, it's an option. You don't have to buy it. It's an option to get it. If you want it, by all means, get it. But if you don't want it, then by all means, just play Fallout 76 without Fallout first. I mean, seriously. And of course, there's this guy saying, saying, made a post about the Fallout first was about that. Made a post about this the day Fallout first was announced. People said that it wasn't going to happen. Well, there you go. Class struggle in Appala Appalachia. Like, what the hell? I mean, I kind of agree with this guy. It's struggling because, you know, people are deciding to just get all pissed off and pick on people because they have Fallout first. I mean, you guys know me. This is the first time I've ever, well, not really the first time I've ever cussed in a video. I cussed in a couple of my videos lately because, well, uh, you know, the COPPA thing, yeah, I'm trying to... Make it to where my channel is more aimed towards uh, teenagers and a more mature audience because, you know, I don't want to sound no, I don't, I don't want to sound all family friendly or anything like that. Sure, I'm kind of family friendly. I'm kind of family friendly, but not much. Yeah. Uh, but but off topic. We're going back on this. Yes. Yeah. So that's all the Reddit post. And this is the next post. Fallout first subscribers of Fallout 76 are being targeted by non-playing players. Fallout 76's Fallout first subscription service has created class warfare within the game's world. <clears throat> and yeah, I changed Braun by his name to his actual YouTube name because he hasn't done a name reveal yet, I don't think. So, yeah. Me, I did a name reveal, but back before I deleted every video on my channel. You guys know my name already. Yeah, I'm sure most of you do. Alright. Alright, so here we go. The launch of Fallout First, a $99 a year subscription, so that's $100, to Fallout 76 that grants members private servers, unlimited stash, and other benefits has been very rocky. Well, of course it's been rocky. Look what, look what everybody's going through. People are going through hell just because they have Fallout First. Like how, uh, I mean, if you ask me, this is a little bit worse than the Ruby thing. I mean, sure, that girl was under fire because she got a fan art that people are ranting, ranting and throwing a fit about just because they think their ship's getting killed. But this is worse than the Ruby rant I did. I mean, seriously, we have like probably millions and millions of players getting bullied and probably wanting to quit playing Fallout 76 because these guys are deciding to get pissed off and... Just take their anger out on people who have Fallout first. I mean, seriously, like, I was at Grandma Rampage's at the time. I was going to make the video last night, but I decided not to because, well, Mother Rampage and Baby Rampage were over as well. We were going to be spending some family quality time. And, yeah. Oh, all right. The trouble started when players began reporting losing items stored in the advertised unlimited stash and being in supposedly private worlds 
that others have seemingly visited before. But it looks like Fallout First is now facing a different kind of problem. One that isn't technical in nature. Well, of course it's facing a problem. People, people are sat in there bullying players for no apparent reason. Just because they have Fallout First. Me, I don't even have Fallout 76 yet. So I don't even have Fallout First either. I have Fallout 4, but that's about it. Yeah, I have Fallout 4, and I wanted that game for years. It's the same with Fallout 76. I wanted it since it came out, which was a year or two ago, I think. Yeah, I think it came out 20, 2018, 2019? I don't know. I think it's 2019 it came out. <clears throat> but, yeah. No, I'll look that up later. I'll look that up later. We're going off topic here. Yeah, a number of Fallout First players on the game's main subreddit have been running into abuse from others who did not subscribe to the service. Fallout First members get exclusive icons, emotes, and other unique cosmetics that make them easy to identify, which can sometimes lead them to becoming targets for cyberbullying. Which is what I'm doing this rant about. Like, seriously, why the hell do people want to set their Bully someone just because they have Fallout first. If you ask me, that's just that's just uh, half-assed. If you ask me, that's half-assed. That's even more half-assed than you know someone deciding to do half-assed things to a girl just because she has a fan art that people think are uh, their ship getting killed. But off topic here, we're going off topic again, and I'm gonna have to try not to go off topic here because. This is pissing me off a little bit more than the Ruby thing did. Yeah. Ah, so this is the video. Fallout 76, here's what happened. This is Kirk from VG247, and you're about to witness a nuke blow up a portion of Fallout 76's West Virginian map. One of the coolest new features in Fallout 76... We're not going to watch the, the whole thing, but yeah. ...launch codes for a nuke before firing it off somewhere on the map. During a recent hands-on, we got a glimpse of one of the nukes in action. Because we're low level, we didn't get a chance to fire it off ourselves, but professed the launch one so we could see it. As you can see, we were also surrounded by games journalists, which is absolutely terrible. And they're all shooting each other instead of looking at the nuke, which is also absolutely terrible. But if you just keep watching, we will get a good glimpse of the nuke because I am not a total idiot. When a nuke's fired, you get a few minutes to escape the black... Okay, so you heard this guy right, guys. These guys are shooting at each other. Instead of paying attention to the nuke, that's mainly because these are Fallout First players getting bullied. A thread on the Fallout 76 subreddit has over 8,000 upvotes is full of stories of first players getting targeted in adventure mode. Others talked about getting abused by groups of players anytime they used the first exclusive emotes. Of course it's happening. Yeah, because... People, they decide they want to get pissed off just over the whole Fallout First thing. I mean, sure, Fallout 76 didn't do that good, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. I mean, I never, I, I played it, but I never owned it. Yeah, it's actually a good game. I like it. I actually really do enjoy Fallout 76. And that's not just coming from me because I'm from West Virginia. That's coming from me because... You know, I'm a Fallout fan. I've I've loved Fallout since I was about maybe 11 or 12 years old. So I didn't necessarily grow up with it. I didn't necessarily grow up with it. Yeah, but I have played it for many, many years. And I still play it today. It's still one of my favorite game series of all time, if not my main favorite. But people like this just make me lose faith in Fallout players. I mean, seriously. The divide between ha haves and have-nots has increased the friction in an already volatile community. Some, perhaps jokingly, have suggested creating a gated community exclusive to paid customers. I would do that too, because it would decrease the chance of people being targeted by bullies. I mean, seriously, you all, you all are probably in your 20s. Act your damn age. Seriously. Act... Your God blessed age. Enjoy the game without you throwing a tantrum like you're some three year old begging his mom over a Captain America figurine. Seriously. Hey, there's people out there who want Fallout first but are scared half to death to get it 
because they know there's bullies out there deciding to bully people over the the whole damn subscription. Alright, now this is the last part of the article, I think. We're not going to read this whole article, because it'll take up, take up so much time on my recording. Yeah, that's the last of the article. Never mind, okay. Although some of this can be avoided by muting offenders or switching servers, there's no avoiding the massive potential for griefing the service created in the first place. It seems the story of Fallout 76's trouble will never end. Sometimes we include links to online retail stores. If you click on one and make a purchase, we may receive a small commission. For more information, go here. We're not going to go there because I don't have much storage left on my phone to do this. So yeah, that's the Google post. Now we're going to go to this other one. I know you guys hate Fallout First, but do you have to grief me over it? This is from a guy who's getting bullied by the looks of it. This is from a guy who's been getting bullied. And this is a Reddit post. Alright, listen. I get subscription services. Aren't aren't everybody's cup of tea. But I, like I spent 30 minutes trying to find the server because every player just decided to harass me. And just start ganging up on me, shooting me with their explosive bullets. Which, I know it doesn't do damage, but it's blinding as hell. They also start saying derogatory shit. All because I own Fallout first. Like, I get I have a private server to go on, but usually I put on 76 because to help me study, and I'll stay at my camp and let people trade with me. And buy my stock from vending machines, but I couldn't even do that. Like, what the hell? I mean, this is from a guy who got bullied. Uh, but who is this guy? Alden3434. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Buddy, I'm sorry for you. If you're watching this, which you're probably not, but I'm sorry you're going through that, buddy. I mean, I mean this, pisses me, this pisses me off as much as it pisses you off. I'm sure it does that to you all, too. I mean... Of course, some of you are probably saying, Rampage, calm down. <laughs> you guys haven't heard me cuss as much in a video. You guys probably heard me cuss at least once or twice in a video lately. But this much, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry you guys have to hear me curse as much in a video. But seriously, I'm done with people sitting there throwing a fit because of stuff like this. I'm done with hearing that. People are getting bullied because of Fallout First. I'm done hearing that some of my friends are even getting bullied because they have Fallout First or are thinking about getting it. Getting it. Me, I'm I'm getting Fallout 76, but hell, I might even get Fallout First just to give these people a big f you. I mean, that's just me. I'll even say it too. I'll tell them. Um, then I'll go on a private server and be like, you all, I'm getting Fallout 76, I'm getting Fallout first just to give you a cold F you. I would. I wouldn't give a single bit of damn. Alright, read more. I thought this was funny at first, but it got old real fast. If you guys don't like the game, don't ruin it for other players. That's what I'm saying. That's what Brompi said in his video yesterday. That's what we're all saying. If you don't like the game, don't sit there and ruin it for other players. Let them enjoy the game without having to have the fear of being harassed by cyber bullies. Me, like, uh, I don't play much online games because of that. I used to play Jump Force Online all the time, but I quit playing because there's cheaters on there all the time. And there's no way you can report them. Um, that's why I don't play online much anymore. I play online sometimes, but only because if only if it's me and my friends playing online. Like, if I go into a Call of Duty match, I'm not going to go in with random people. I'm going to wait and play with bots, and then if my friends want to play a match, I'll play a match with them. But if it, if, unless it's a battle royal mode, because, you know, cheaters on there, they get in trouble all the time. But at the same time, they don't. Yeah. If you're playing Battle Royale, you have no choice but to play with random people. But if you're playing an actual match with your friends, you're good. They won't do anything to you. Yeah. Please, I'm not trying to uh, crap on anyone. I'm not going to say... I already said the S word once. I'm not going to say it again. 
or start a fight. I'm literally asking if, if for some mannerism, what I do with my money does not affect any of you guys. Of course it don't. It don't affect anyone, but people are acting like it does. Seriously, I'll never understand gamers in 2020. All right, we're going to scroll down here. This is a YouTube video. Yeah, these are YouTube videos, of course. You guys see them. You guys can watch those if you want. Could, but this is flat out disgusting. And there's the thing in Game Informer about it. And here's Braun by his Twitter page. He wanted me to mention this in my rant as well. Alright, so I know he posted something on his Twitter page. Alright, it's this. People need to stop complaining about Fallout First. You either buy it or you don't. You are not required to buy Fallout First, which you're not. He's telling the truth here. You're not required to buy it to play Fallout 76. You are even told what you are paying if you do choose to pay for it. It's not a scam. It's not a pay to win, but it's nice to have. It's true. It is. It is nice to have, but at the same time, it's not because you have a very high risk of getting targeted by people who are pissed off and want to cyber bully you. That's all I'm going to say about this, guys. I mean, okay, I didn't mean to hit his Twitter again, but yeah. That's all I'm going to say about this, guys. I mean, I have a cover I'm going to do in a minute. I have a, another episode of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order I'm doing today. Today is Saturday. Usually I take breaks on weekends, but I decide, screw it, I'll do it anyway. Because, you know, I filmed for two days this week. Because I was at Grandma Rampage's. So, I'm going to make up for it by doing a couple streams today. Hey, now I know you th you're thinking, Rampage, don't push yourself. Don't worry, I'm not going to push myself. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to push myself. I'm going to be fine. Don't worry. I appreciate all you Rampagelings worrying about me. But still, this is just so disgusting. I mean, we can't even play Fallout 76 in peace without someone out there pissed off at you because you have Fallout first and want to harass you. I mean, seriously, if you're watching this video and you're pissed off because someone has Fallout first and you're trying to harass someone, act your damn age. You're probably in your 20s or teens. I don't know what the hell your age is, but act your age. Stop acting like you're five years old wanting to throw a damn fit just because you don't have, you know, people have Fallout first and you don't like it. Sure, you don't like Fallout first. You don't like Fallout 76. Don't ruin it for other players. Act your age. Stop acting like you're some five or six year old. Throwing your temper tantrum because your mom told you you can't play GTA. Or you can't get a Captain America figure. Whatever the hell. Seriously. That's all I'm going to say about this, guys. I mean, I mean I'm going to try and calm down because I have a cover I'm going to be recording in the mail on my SoundCloud. And I have a, uh, I have a couple streams I'm going to be doing today. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later.